Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionalis one more time continuing our discussion about pulmonology playlist. We have talked about anatomy, we have talked about histology, we have talked about respiratory pharmacology, and we're talking about upper respiratory pathology, then we'll talk about lung physiology, then lung pathology, then some crazy stuff such as the ventilator and the CPAP and the BiPAP, etc, etc, etc. Today's topic is rhinoscleroma, which is indeed a granuloma, and it's caused by the crazy Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis. Look at this, it's so sad. With that being said, now let's get started. Let's first answer the case of the previous video. We had a three-year-old child, cup falls of pus coming out, and the parents have to put him in the prone position in order to clear his lung of this pus, and he's adopted, the family history is unavailable. Speculum exam, you have the nasal cavity showing bilateral polyps. He has a past medical history of bowel obstruction due to meconium ileus, as well as pancreatic insufficiency. Which of the following organisms are more likely to be involved in respiratory infection at this age? Please pause. And this is a cystic fibrosis case. How do you know? Caucasian, because cystic fibrosis is common in northern European. Meconium ileus, pancreatic insufficiency, nasal polyp, and huge amount of pus. What's organism is responsible of course all of you are going to say pseudomonas okay pseudomonas is correct but i didn't put it in the choices what shall you do now drive your car into a ditch or think think the answer is staph aureus big time okay rhinoscleroma is a granuloma if it's a granuloma the main cell is the epithelioid histiocyte or the macrophage and you'll have multinucleated Langerhans giant cells. Might affect any side of the respiratory tract, so it's common in the nose, but it can also affect the trachea, causing short segmental narrowing of the upper airway tract. One of the causes of chronic nasal sore is this rhinoscleroma. What is chronic nasal sore? It's when you have inflammation of infection for a long period of time. Causes, recurrent nose picking, Immunosuppressed is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. If you're immunocompetent, it's usually Staph aureus. Herpes simplex virus 1. Mycobacterial infection, cephalus. Cephalus damages your nose big time. Rhinoscleroma, which is a granuloma. And intranasal drug abuse, such as cocaine. Cocaine can damage your nose. It can lead to epistaxis as well as septal perforation. What else can cause septal perforation of the nasal septum? How about syphilis? Absolutely, it can do it. How about granulomatosis with polyangiitis, also known as Wegener? Also can do it. What causes rhinoscleroma? Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis. Gram-negative bacillus encapsulated and non-motile. Possible inherited predisposition leading to a chronic inflammation of the nasal passages. It's endemic in these regions, Central South America, East Africa, Europe, and India. It has three stages. You have catarrhal, you have granulomatous, and you have sclerotic. First, you have foul-smelling nasal discharge, that's the catarrhal or catarrhal phase. Friable granulomatous nasal masses leading to nosebleed, then granuloma, destruction of the nasal cartilage causing fibrosis and scarring, and this is the sclerotic phase. Diagnosis clinically, culture by the McConkie, and histopathology have a granuloma. So the granuloma will have what? We'll have epithelioid cells, multinucleated uh, giant cells, Russell bodies. Russell bodies, why? Because of the immunoglobulins, honey. And of course, you can see mucleid cells, which are large histiocytes, caused by the Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis. Rhinoscleroma is not lethal, but if left untreated, can lead to sepsis and bleeding, and this is fatal. Treatment, tetracycline or ciprofloxacin, why? Because the Klebsiella rhinoscleromatis is a gram-negative bacteria. Surgical treatment called rhinoplasty. Please be aware, just because it says granuloma doesn't necessarily mean it's an actual granuloma. For example, vocal cord granuloma. It's not a granuloma, it's just granulation tissue. Pyogenic granuloma, intubation granuloma. All of these are not actual pathological granuloma. These are just stupid granulation tissue. It's a wrong name, but it's written everywhere, so please be careful. Don't be fooled. I know, I know, you're struggling to learn about staph, strep, legionella, mycoplasma, pseudomonas, rhinovirus, etc. Please check my friend's website called Picmonic. They have illustrated and animated medical mnemonics. Please check the link in the description below.
they are not a sponsor of the video. Thank you for watching. Smash like, subscribe, join the tribe, hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. You can support this channel and get all of my notes, all of my extra cases, and they are available for direct download. Patreon.com slash Medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.